Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video series on Java Technologies Lab. So today we are going to look at the next program, which is a six program. So the aim of this program is uh, to create a Java application. And especially in this application, we will have a HTML form uh, where the user enters the username and password. And whenever the user clicks on the submit button, uh, we are going to send the username and password to the servlet. And in the servlet, we are going to validate the username and password. Okay, right. So for doing this, that is for uh, fetching the details from the HTML into servlet, we will use the request object. So in the previous uh, program, we have already seen this request object. So this object belongs to HTTP servlet request interface, right? So using this request object, and in particular, we are going to use this get parameter method, which is available on request object. Okay, so we will say or uh, use this object like this request dot get parameter, and within the parentheses of get parameter method, we will give uh, the name of the field in the HTML form. Okay. So in the example, uh, not example, in the program, we will see what, what to give here. Okay, right. So this is the input and output for this. So first we are going to create a HTML web page like login.html, where we will create a simple form like this. We will have username, password, and we will have two buttons. One is submit and another one is clear. So when the user gives the username and password here and clicks on submit, uh, the details will go to the servlet. And if the user uh, has entered wrong details, we will display this message, incorrect username or password, try again. But if the username and password matches with the pre-specified values, we will get this login successful as output. Okay. So, that is the theoretical explanation for this program. So let's see the actual program. So here is the login.html page. So we have already created a project called servlet validation. So the name of the project is servlet validation. And in this, as you already know, you can right click the project and you can say new and you can create this html file okay so the name of the file is login.html okay and inside this file i have written this code okay so the entire code will be provided in the um, description of the video so you can get it from there so let's see so what is happening in this html um, web page is we have written the form tags. Okay, so what is the use of the form tags is to create form. Okay, so what do what do I mean by a form is? So let me run this project. Uh, finish. Okay, so this is a HTML form. Okay, which contains a text field, a password field, and two buttons. One is submit, another one is clear okay so this is the html form so let's go back so inside the form tag i have used a label which I, which is displaying the username mm, that is this one if you want to display simply some text you can write label tags okay and if you see here after the username there is a text box right where you can enter some text like this. Okay, so how to create this text field or text box is by using the input tag and within the input tag, you, you must specify the type attribute to text. Okay, so this is called an attribute, type attribute and similarly we have another attribute called name. Okay, so if you want to display text box, we will give type equal to text. Okay. And here you can see another attribute called name, which is set 
uh, which is set to txt username okay so what is the use of this name i will explain you later when we go to the servlet so until then just remember that the text field has one name called txt username okay so this is the first row in the form so this first row okay now we are going to create the second row so say again we are uh, displaying password text using the label field and after the password we have a password field so what is the difference between text field and password field is whatever you enter into the password field it is not displayed okay instead of the characters you will get dots right so how to create password field is again you will use the input tag and set type equal to password okay like uh, here for text field we have given txt username for password field also we are giving txt password okay so that's it and uh, finally we are going to create two buttons one is submit and the one is reset okay so this code is going to create the submit button uh, which is this submit button and the next line is going to create a reset button okay so you write type equal to reset and whatever text you want to display on the button you will write here clear so you can see the button text is clear okay so what is the purpose of this reset button is for example you have written some details username and password but you remember that these things are uh, not correct then you can click on clear okay so that everything will be gone clear or reset okay so this is our html page which is login.html so if you see here in the form tag the action attribute is set to validate okay and also the method we are using is post method so in the previous examples or previous programs i have used here the get like this okay but here in this specific example i am going to use post right and this validate is actually a servlet okay so how to create a servlet again right click the project new servlet okay so the servlet i have added is validate dot java okay so whatever name you are giving up for the servlet that you should give here okay without the extension dot java you just give the name of the servlet here validate okay now see here inside this validate this is all common code no don't don't worry about this the this code will come automatically now the class name is validate and you you see here the method is do post okay why why we are writing do post is here the method has been set to post if it is get if you have written get here in the servlet you will write do get okay if you have written post there you will write do post okay now in this particular program we are going to use this request object okay we are going to use request object like this here and in the second line we are using request object which is this one okay so on this request object we have a method called get parameter so in the theory while explaining the theory i already told you know we will use get parameter method and in the parenthesis the parameter we are giving is txt username so do you remember where the, where is this coming from this one here okay so this is the purpose of name attribute so if you want to refer the value of this username and password field we will refer them using the name values okay txt username and txt password the code is very simple just use request dot get parameter txt username so whatever the user enters in the form you will get that value into u name variable as a string okay similarly you will write request dot get parameter 
PHP password and again the value which the user enters in the form you, you will get it into pass variable which is also a string now we are going to compare the value which is available values which are available in uname and pass so if the username is given as admin and the password is given as 123456 then we will display login is successful okay so if the if the user enters anything apart from admin and 123456 we will display incorrect username or password try again okay so that's all very simple program right now let's see the execution of this so here is the login.html page okay now i am writing the admin uh, i mean the username as test and password i am giving 1 2 3 4 5 6 and i am clicking on submit so you see here uh it is saying incorrect username or password try again right so let's go back now let's remove this test and let's view admin click submit okay now it is saying login is successful right because we are checking whether the username and password is admin and 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so that's it guys mm, this is how you validate uh, the data entered by the user using a servlet okay just use the request object along with get parameter and check whether the retrieved values are uh, valid or not okay so that's it thank you